his passing, it's as if a piece of the earth fell away. Tate Taylor, director of Get On Up and friend of Chadwick Boseman, says he knew that he would be the perfect person to depict James Brown. I just knew from the start he would be that person. He, when, when, when an actor doesn't look like the person they're playing, but their performance is so good, you don't care. You just, it doesn't matter. That's the sign of a true, true great actor, and that's what Chabuk was. And while filming Get On Up in Natchez, many say they won't forget how down to earth he was. Towards the end of the movie, became a regular fixture of Natchez. I mean, walking down Main Street with his hoodie on, you know, or walking down by the casino and, and just talking to folks, or going to a food establishment, and people are like, he blends in so well with our regular residents that you wouldn't know that he was this mega star. And as he continued to rise to fame, many say he never stopped working hard. It was uh, it was amazing just watching his process. I've never been around an actor so prepared. I've never been around an actor that was such in his zeal that held character from when he stepped out of the car to when he stepped back into the car on his way to the hotel. And it was tremendously amazing to see how Chadwick was able to lock into the character. And Black Panther comics have been around since the 1960s, but because of Chadwick Boseman's influence, they went to a whole new level. He was Black Panther. There's people who come in who didn't know that Black Panther was a comic, and now they can kind of continue reading him uh, in a sense, at least the essence of the character. But yeah, people have been coming in, they, they want to get uh, memorials, tributes to him. No matter how people came to know Chadwick Boseman, they said they'll remember him as a superhuman and a superhero.